Hey ladies, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. So today I have a huge haul video. Like I have done some damage in the past couple of weeks and I just wanted to grab all my stuff and share with you guys what I have purchased and what I've been loving and what I've YouTube made me do it kind of <laughs> type deal. So I got a lot so we'll just jump right into it. So first I'm gonna, I did some, I went to Mac, Sephora, Ulta, I did some online shopping so We'll start off with MAC, and I got, um, I believe, eight pressed pigments. And if you don't know what pressed pigment is, it's just a loose eyeshadow. And they're very versatile. You can put them on your lips. You can put them in, like, a clear nail polish to, for a nail polish. You can, um, oh, what else? Um, certain ones you can use, like, as a highlight. I mean, there's tons of different things you can do with them. So first one is vanilla, and it looks like this. And I, I pre-swatched so this video wouldn't be ten hours long. So, I don't know if you can see right there, but that one is vanilla. Just very light, tiny bit of like, an, uh, like a goldish iridescence to it, but very pretty. Sorry, my stuff is over here to the side. Okay, and this next one I believe is in um, the Flower Collection. And this one is a Lily White. It looks like this. And it's just a yellow with like a goldish undertone to it. And it's right there, the second one. I know they're pretty similar, but one's more of a gold, one's more of like a white. <laughs> so, there's that one. This next one is, um, what is this? Naked. Looks like this. And this uh, third one, I don't know if you can see this, it's pretty much like the same color as my skin tone. <laughs> so, it's just really pretty. It's almost, um, just a very light beige. So then we have tan and this is my absolute favorite pigment ever like if I could buy 10 of them I would but obviously there's no need to because this will last me my entire life so it just looks like this gorgeous and that's this one right here beautiful like oh like a tannish rose just absolutely gorgeous and this next one is copper sparkle and it just looks like this copper and there's the swatch for you guys. They do have like regular copper, which I wasn't paying attention and I got the copper, copper sparkle. And, uh, but I do really like it. It just has a uh, bigger chunks of like glitter. So, but I like it. So it's not a big deal. This next one is deep purple. Looks like this. Here's a swatch. It almost looks like black on camera. So I'm hoping you're, it's just a very deep purple color. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, but nothing crazy. And, and those will last you your entire life. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, the, the tiniest bit goes such a long way. You can apply them dry or, like, wet your brush with some, maybe some water or some Fix Plus from MAC. And you can use it that way. Give it to more, like, an intense look. And this next one is Golden Olive. It looks like this. Beautiful green color. And that's the swatch right there. And this last one, obviously you can tell since I've been holding on my hand, it is Magenta Madness. It is hot, hot pink. And it's that one right there, and I'm so obsessed with this color. I can't wait to do an eye look with this since it's springtime and I can pull it off. This next thing from MAC is just a single eyeshadow. Looks like this. This is called Electric Eel. Just beautiful, gorgeous, bright blue color. And I don't have, like, any blue, so I figured, you know, I'd throw it into my collection. And I had picked up um, Modern Mandarin. It's a new satin blush. It looks like this. It reminds me of like Melba and um, like a Peaches. Just beautiful like orangey color. Looks like that. Perfect for springtime. I believe this is like, in, like a new collection if I'm not mistaken. This was from an old collection that they were still uh, selling at the counter that I had gone to. And this is from the Mag Magnetic Appeal. And it's a highlighter. And it's an extra dimension skin finish. And it looks like this. Sorry, I'm going through these fast. I have a lot of things before my camera cuts off. Looks like that. It's just a bronzy champagne highlight. Absolutely gorgeous. Super smooth, blends out nice. No chunky, glittery. It's not splotchy or anything. Oh, I absolutely love this. Another thing I have is uh, the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Glass in Patience Please. It's packaging. This is what it looks like. It's kind of sticky, but it does last a really long time. And it looks absolutely gorgeous on like pretty much over every lip stick <laughs> like um creme de nude and a cream cup oh it looks so gorgeous over those the last thing from mac is my um eye coal in teddy and it's just a dark brown eye coal 
swatch it for you guys. I'm sure you know what a brown pencil looks like, but there you go. And let's see, from Ulta, I had picked up the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Curl and Lengthen Mascara. This is packaging. Now, this was uh, the 21 Days of Beauty, so you, I've got this for uh, $9, I believe, because it's half off. And this is what the wand looks like, a little hourglass shape. I've actually used it twice, and I really do like it. I didn't think, you know, I'd be too crazy about it, but full. It's, uh, it's not too clumpy or anything like that. It really combs out the lashes, so I'm pretty happy about this purchase. The next is a refill of my Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. Just looks like this normal Brow Wiz pencil with a little spoolie on the end in um, Ash Blonde. Um, these are all from Ulta, by the way. Um, let's see. This is the uh, Naked Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Double Ended Eye Pencil. This one is for the Naked 2, I believe. This is the packaging. One side is whiskey and one side is zero. It's a black and like a dark brown color for the Naked 2. This one is for the Naked Basics. One is Crave and the other side is Venus. Just looks like this, like a whitish champagne color and then this is like a dark, dark brownish black. And these are two Stila um, smudge stick waterproof eyeliners. It's packaging. This is in Mint Julep and oh, I just can't wait to use this one. Like, look at that. That's amazing. Springtime. Oh, I'm so excited. And this, I mean, I swatched this in the store and I walked around and I was like trying to rub it off. And I mean, this thing sticks on your hands. So I'm really excited for these. The other one I got is Gilded. It's this bronze color. Ooh, I can't wait. I am such a bronze, like brown freak. And it's gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, I cannot wait to use this. Gonna look so good. Next, C is from Sephora. And this is one of those things where they get you with, you know, the, the little line and you get to pick out your little things right before you get to the line. So this is the Bite Beauty uh, Double Ended Lipstick. This one is in Violet, I believe, the side. I'll swatch it for you guys. Gorgeous, super hydrating, creamy, not drying. Um, I believe this is like $12. I mean, you can't beat it. I mean, look how tiny it is. It's so cute. They have really good makeup or lipsticks, I should say. And this one right here is a Palomino, I believe. Girl, let me double check. Yep, Palomino. That's that. Just one of those things to throw in my purse. Don't know what I want. Just got two different options. This next thing is Bare Minerals Mineral Veil in Brightening Gold. Just looks like this. It's just like a setting powder for your under eye or all over your face if you want. And it has such a gold iridescence to it. You know, if you want to soak up your, kind of like a blotting um, powder. You can use it as that um, too and it has just a nice beautiful brightening effect to your face. This is the Becca Shimmering uh, Perfector Powder. Here's the packaging. This is from Sephora. And it looks like a little spaceship. I love it. This is such cute packaging. It's kind of heavy though. Um, and this is a, like a beautiful champagne highlighter. I'm waiting for opal. I just have not been able to get my hands on it. It's always sold out everywhere I go. So I ended up getting Moonstone. So this is gorgeous as well, but I want the other one too, of course. And I picked up the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder. It's the loose one, and this is the translucent crystal. Oops, really? There you go. And this is what the packaging looks like. And this is a all over setting powder, or even for your under eyes or your entire face, and just gives a beautiful glow and like the smoothness, flawless face look. I absolutely love this and this will definitely last me a long time because it's very uh, big packaging. This is uh, 10 grams, so I mean this is it's a lot of product. This next thing is the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer. Looks like this. Gorgeous. Looks like a little clamshell. I absolutely love the packaging. It has like a orange-ish undertone to it. Absolutely beautiful. Super smooth, matte. The only thing is smells like old lady perfume but hey I mean if it's gorgeous and it looks amazing I'm gonna get it and the packaging sold me anyways I'm just a packaging person another thing from um, Sephora is the Becca ultimate coverage complexion um, foundation 21% pigment um, almost just as much as the uh, Kat Von D lock it Fat tattoo foundation that I really like so not as heavy this is more of a natural finish but still gives you that full full coverage effect Absolutely beautiful, wears all day long. I've used it a couple times. I'm in the shade um, Nude. And then, um, last but not least, I got two things from Bobbi Brown. And I believe I got these on BobbiBrown.com. And this is the packaging. This is the eyeshadow in Champagne Quartz. 
looks like this and it's just beautiful champagne color absolutely love it I saw it from Jaclyn Hill and I was like oh I have to have this it's so beautiful and the lipstick in um, bikini pink just beautiful nude pink color absolutely love it super hydrating it lasts a long time there's the color right there very I, I think this is Jaclyn Hill too so she just sells me on everything but other than that, that is absolutely it for my haul video. I know, I'm finally done. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.